This image shows what bore scoring looks like on an engine that has already been removed for repair. This engine would have had serious blow-by of oil, loss of compression, and starting to foul plugs, cats, and O2 sensors. The engine is either junk or going to have a new cylinder sleeve pressed in. To perform a bore scoping of the engine, you will need to first get the spark plugs out of all the cylinders. You will also need a way to rotate the motor until the piston in the cylinder you are checking is at the bottom of its stroke. You will first need to remove the rear bumper and the mufflers. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the bumper and mufflers off, you will have access to the cylinder heads. There is a heat shield between the heads and the mufflers that you need to remove. The heat shield is held in place by two E12 torque screws, red arrows. On the right side, you will also need to remove the ground cable, just moving it out of the way. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the nut, yellow arrow, and swing the cable out of the way. Remove the screws and slide the heat shield forward and out from between the head and the muffler bracket. It will be a tight fit, but there is no need to bend the shield. On the left side, the E12s are in different locations, red arrows. Remove them and slide the shield out towards the front of the vehicle. With the heat shield out of the way, you can easily access the three coils on each cylinder bank, red arrows. The plugs are directly underneath them. Squeeze in the tab on the electrical connections, red arrow, and slide the connector back and off of the coil. There's a lot of heat in this area and the connectors can get brittle, so take care with the small tabs on the connector. Use an E12 torque and remove the single screw holding each coil to the cylinder head, red arrow. Slightly twist the coil as you pull them back and out. Use a 16 mm thin walled spark plug socket and remove the plugs, red arrows. You can buy a bore scope that will work with your phone or computer. Make sure you get one that has lights on the end and a 45 degree mirror attachment is very handy. You will need to get each cylinder to the bottom of its stroke to allow you to see as much of the cylinder wall as possible. You are not timing the cams here, so all you have to do is rotate the engine until the piston goes to the bottom of the cylinder. Remember, due to the design of the engine, when one cylinder is at the bottom of its stroke on one side, there will also be one on the other side at the bottom. This will help save you time when rotating the motor. Gently insert the probe into the spark plug opening, and if you have a 45 degree attachment, slowly rotate the probe until you can see all of the cylinder wall. You can just check the cylinder that you are getting a misfire code on, but if you are at this point, you should check them all. Installation of all components is the reverse of removal. When reinstalling plugs, torque them to 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. If you are refitting the old plugs, torque them to 25 newton meters or 19 foot pounds. Both the coil screws and heat shield screws are torqued to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.